let's talk about blend shapes delta so basically in uh, when you're using blend shapes uh, you have like this is my object and here we have this uh, cube for instance and this is my blend shape target so when you apply the blend shape you have this effect now you can apply it and it's gonna take the shape of the blend, uh, the target itself so that's very simple but it, what's happening here so the blend shape is not storing the absolute position of this so and let me explain this with this uh, like whiteboard or blackboard here so basically when you have this position here you have let's say this is my y-axis my x-axis so let's say this is completely random but let's say this is in the white four and here is maybe three now for instance this this value okay so this is not the delta so it's not saying this point it's x three f y four so y four x three it's not saying that that's not what is happening here what is happening here is that the delta or the blend shape stores the difference between the original position that was here and the new position and that's it's the delta and it's important to understand this for the next explanation because you can play with that in a way that take advantage of this because it's not absolute positions where you are playing with the blend shapes it's a relative positions to the previous position so maybe it's a bit abstract right now but just remind that the delta of the blade shape is the difference from the original position to the new position it's not the absolute uh, position or the blend shape is not the absolute position unless you specify in uh, the blend shape options that it's another maybe another topic but for the moment just keep with that bear with me and let's see in the next video how we can use this